Super Kid, the assault on the lunar fortress. Super Kid floated above the Earth, enjoying the silence of space. From that view, our planet was a swirl of blue, green, and white, a jewel suspended in the vast darkness of the universe. But his peace was interrupted by a distress signal from the moon. The headquarters of the Intergalactic League, an alliance of heroes and scientists, had been attacked. The Lunar Fortress, the most important operations center for the defense of the solar system, was under siege. This can't be, thought Super Kid as he fired up his rear thruster and sped toward the moon. With his blue, red, and yellow suit shining in the sunlight, the young hero zoomed forward. The shield on his chest, emblazoned with the letters SK, gleamed, and his mind filled with questions. Who could be bold enough to launch such an attack? The lunar fortress was impenetrable, or so they believed. As he approached, Super Kid saw the first signs of battle. Colossal spacecraft surrounded the lunar base, firing energy beams and missiles that exploded in bright flashes against the force fields protecting the fortress. They were the ships of Kragan, a feared intergalactic conqueror who sought to dominate planets to expand his empire. Kragan had been a formidable enemy before, but never had he attacked with such force or at such a strategic location. Super Kid didn't waste time. This is bigger than me, but I can't let the lunar fortress fall, he thought with determination. As he assessed the situation, he realized the shields wouldn't hold much longer. He knew he had to act fast. Flying through a storm of laser fire, Super Kid dodged the enemy attacks with agility. Using his super speed, he headed straight for Kragan's mothership, the heart of the assault. He knew that if he could disable it, the other ships would be defenseless. Upon reaching the ship, he used his super strength to tear through the reinforced steel wall, entering directly into the command center. There, on his throne surrounded by holographic screens, sat Kragan, a giant being clad in dark armor with eyes that glowed like embers. Super Kid. Kragan roared upon seeing him enter. How dare you face me? Super Kid, showing no fear, landed softly on the floor of the ship, his gaze fixed on the villain. I'm not going to let you take the lunar fortress, Kragan. It ends here. Kragan let out a booming laugh and with a wave of his hand, ordered his robotic guards to attack. But Super Kid was ready. With a swift move, he unleashed a beam of energy from his shield, disabling the robots one by one. His ability to channel cosmic energy was one of his greatest strengths. The battle was fierce. Super Kid used his flight, super speed, and strength to dodge Kragan's attacks, but the villain was stronger than he had expected. Kragan landed a blow that nearly knocked him down, but the young hero regained his balance just in time. In a moment of desperation, Kragan activated the core of the ship, which began to tremble. If I can't have the fortress, I'll destroy the entire moon, the villain shouted. Super Kid felt a pang of fear. If the core exploded, the moon would be destroyed and chaos would reach Earth. I won't let that happen, Super Kid exclaimed, launching himself toward the core control panel. With his technological skills and superhuman speed, he began to deactivate the self-destruct system. However, Kragan wasn't about to give up without a fight. As Super Kid worked against the clock, Kragan attacked him with everything he had. Finally, at the last second, Super Kid managed to deactivate the core. The tremor stopped and the ship stabilized. Panting but victorious, Super Kid turned to Kragan. Your reign of terror ends here, he said, using the shield on his chest to send a burst of energy that disarmed the villain and trapped him under a force field. With Kragan defeated and the threat of destruction neutralized, Super Kid piloted the mothership back to the Lunar Fortress, delivering the Conqueror to intergalactic authorities. The base was safe, though not without damage. Some sections had been severely affected by the attack, and many heroes and scientists were working on its reconstruction. Standing on the lunar surface, gazing at Earth in the distance, Super Kid felt a mix of exhaustion and satisfaction. Another mission accomplished, he murmured to himself. But he knew a hero's work never ended. The stars always hid new dangers, and as long as he was around, there would always be someone willing to defend what was right. Before returning to Earth, 
Super Kid took a moment to admire the beauty of the universe, knowing that his next adventure could take him to the darkest and farthest corners of the cosmos. But with his courage and determination, he was ready for anything that crossed his path. And so, the assault on the Lunar Fortress was just another chapter in the endless story of Super Kid, the boy hero who never backs down from danger, no matter where destiny takes him.